So why do you think people organize themselves into firms? Because it's far more expensive to do the same things outside the firm than in, than in it. And because sometimes it's not feasible to find the right people for the millions of tasks that a firm executes, sometimes on a daily basis. Imagine Boeing and, or Airbus doing planes by hiring freelancers for every little detail of the plane. It's just not feasible to do so. So large firms have played a major role in our lives for at least a century. Today, more than half of the working population, not only in the US, but also in Europe, is employed at large firms. Now, these large firms produce or distribute at scale. They, they cater to a market of millions and sometimes billions of consumers. Typically, the growth strategies of those firms, which cater to large markets, are derived as a small profit from each unit they sell in the marketplace. But does that mean that that is the scale, that if the scale is small, uh, if, say, you have a thousand consumers per day, you can't make a profit? No. But you have to derive this profit in another way. You can still learn, um, sorry, you can still earn um, a lot of money, but you have to create an image of exclusivity. Just like Apple used to do in the beginning with its iPhone and with other luxury brands. Now, small scale car brands like Aston Martin, Lamborghini, Ferrari, and others, such as the handmade sports convertible Wiesmann, a very beautiful car in itself, are very good examples of this. They can survive, they can make a lot of money, but at the same time, they have to create an image of exclusivity. This image can keep their profit margins high, meaning you can charge a lot, about, a lot above what it costs you to build it. So when your market is small relative to the entire market, you need to have a high profit margin to be sustainable, or otherwise you can't survive. Today we'll learn why. Wiesmann was able to produce very beautiful cars, but as, as beautiful as its cars are, it filed for bankruptcy, unfortunately, in 2013. Now, irrespective of the scale of production, both small and large firms take very similar, if not even identical, types of decisions. The next video illustrates those decisions in more detail, so keep watching.